Hi everyone, my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this video. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about interprocess communication and we are going to take a look at a very small and handy tool which can be used to sniff interprocess communication on Windows platform. So if you are already not familiar with IPC, uh, so IPC is a mechanism which allows process to communicate with each other and synchronize their action. So there are actually, you know, a uh, few methods uh, using which IPC can be performed. So uh, as you can see this geek for geeks page actually lists down the most popular ones. So the first one in the list is uh, pipes. Uh, so pipes are used when um, the process is same. The communication has to, you know, has to be within the process. Then pipes are used. And when there are uh, two, diff two different processes are involved, uh, in that case named pipes are used. Uh, and there are a few other options as well uh, is message queuing, CM4, shared memory, socket. Uh, so this socket is basically, you know, it's network communication. So as you can see, it is written, uh, this method is mostly used uh, to communicate over a network between a client and a server. Uh, so since uh, in today's video, we will be focusing on, you know, IPC communication that happens in you know uh, in more than one process two different processes since uh, so we'll be focusing on this named pipe part um, so the tool I'm going to demonstrate in today's video is uh, known as IO Ninja uh, you can simply google it and the first one should be the one introducing IO Ninja as you can see it says it's all-in-one terminal sniffer protocol analyzer and uh, it is actually a paid a paid tool you have to you know buy it but i you know seven days uh, trial version is freely available so you can download it from here uh, so i have already downloaded it and you know uh, installed it in my vm uh, so let's uh, have a look at it so uh, this is the this is how the ui looks like and as you can see it's a evaluation version is a trial copy so after seven days it's going to get over uh, so now we have to find out a tool which actually, you know, use um, this named pipe to communicate uh, between each other. So the software that we are going to, you know, sniff is uh, Chrome, Chrome browser. Uh, as we know that, you know, uh, Chrome browser actually uses named pipe uh, to do IPC. So if we just open process hacker here, as you can see, so this is the main Chrome process that we have launched. This is known as the broker process, and these are all sandbox process. Uh, <clears throat> these are all uh, these are all sandbox processes, and uh, the sandbox processes has to communicate with the broker process, and this is done using the interprocess communication, and the communication happens over named pipes. So if you just you know uh, open, right click on any of this untrusted process, and go to properties, and if you go to handles. You should be able to see that and you know there are you know several handles for named pipes and this is actually you know mojo dot something so mojo is basically the you know ipc primitives uh, for chrome browser that is used in the in chrome browser uh, so there are you know plenty of details available but that is you know not uh, our goal of this video so i'll just quickly show you when the browser is actually running a lot of ipc communication happens within the broker process and the sandbox processes so if you want to quickly see you know what all payloads are being passed uh, between these processes uh, so how can you do that so let's open up io ninja and go to file go to new session and there's a long list uh, of you know interfaces that it supports so you have to basically scroll down and go to pipe monitor here and click OK. Mm, okay, now the pipe monitor is on, and there are a couple of options that are available. You can uh, sniff uh, the IPC communication uh, by file name, file ID, process, PID. So, what are you going to do here? We are going to do it with the process. Uh, so, since all the processes name is chrome.ex itself, so this is how we are going to do it. We'll add double star chrome.exe and you have to check this one and click on this okay so i have to you know run it as admin so i'll do it again new session run as administrator pipe monitor okay and now process is selected and we are actually sniffing chrome.exe we'll click on this and we'll click on capture 
So now if you open Chrome browser and you know do some operation on it as you can see it has sent you know a lot of IPC communication uh, has happened within uh, these processes and as you can see this IO Ninja has logged many of this for us. So now let's stop the capture for now so that we can you know take some time to analyze that. The first few entries that you see here when these named pipes are being opened. So as you can see there are multiple named pipes that are being opened and all these details are there. This is the file. Uh, this is the file name and this is the file ID. This is basically the handle that it has returned and this is the entire process path. Uh, as you can see this is uh, chrome.exe and the PID is 2720. So if you want to see here right 2720 this is the you know the the main the broker process um, PID and after that if you just you know slowly scroll down as you can see this is the file ID 0FF something like that if you just copy paste it so this was actually you know uh, this particular uh, this particular name it was this this payload was being written to this particular name pipe so this is how you can actually analyze the log that has actually uh, that has you know uh, saved by io ninja tool so uh, as you can see you know it has list down you know, all the payloads that are being said it, it is not going to make any sense right now because you know it's all are you know binary data that are being passed from one process to another process so one very important thing that uh, you have to uh, you have to be looking for is this particular arrows that you see here so if you take a look at this particular entry here so this is for the 2720 process uh, which is the main Chrome browser process and the broker process and as you can see here this is the name pipe and this arrow means this payload was being read from this particular name pipe and if you scroll down as you can see there are few arrows few entries with arrows you know towards the right side the direction is the right side which means so which means uh, th this particular payload is being written to that name pipe so this is actually you know quite important when you are trying to uh, analyze any application which is actually you know performing interprocess communication using named pipe and this is very useful tool for you know dynamic analysis so although this is a trial version uh, but uh, this uh, named pipe sniffer you know works pretty well with the trial version so i would highly recommend you to you know use this particular tool and there are plenty of other options also available you should definitely give it a try so that's all i wanted to discuss in today's video i hope you have found this video useful and if you like the kind of content i upload on this channel i would request you to you know stay subscribed to my channel so thank you so much for your time i'll see you in the next video bye bye